So basically guys, ganito po nangyari yan. The reason bakit namin nakaya ni Mrs. na mag-retire ako at 45 years old is a combination of Mga ate at mga kuya, welcome back to Puto Mendoza in Canada. So, kumusta na kayo? So, uh, yung last video ko po, uh, I uh, mentioned na wala na po akong trabaho. I retired. And I did promise to uh, touch up on that. Basically, marami po nagtanong sa akin, how was I able to retire at 45 years old? So, I'm gonna tell you right now. Kwentuhan tayo. <clears throat> so, karamihan po ng tao, you know, their target date is 65 years old dito sa Canada. Doon po sila makaka-receive ng uh, old age pension and uh, CPP. And uh, whatever pension po na they may have accumulated through uh, their employer. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> typically, yung po ang uh, goal ng mga tao dito is to reach that magic number 65 so they can finally quit and just take it easy. So, nung uh, medyo bata po kami ni Mrs. Ganun din po goal namin. Like we knew, like you know, one day, kami dalawa, we'll reach that certain age, 65. And uh, I guess, magiging 100% taong bahay po kami or maybe travel. Pero napansin po namin, as we got older, everybody else around us got older too. Friends, family, loved ones. And unfortunately, parte po ng buhay, yung iba nagkakasakit. And some of them actually uh, end up dying. And napansin po namin, if we can, if we can find a way, to not have to wait till 65 to actually start enjoying life basically freedom po then we should do it pero problema noon nung bata kami hindi po namin alam kung paano gawin to <laughs> dahil you know you hear a lot of stories you hear a lot of people tell you advice give you advice do this do that if you want to accomplish this do this do that Problema po nun, you know, yung buhay, it's like this, right? You know? Pwede subukan nyo to, hindi gagana. Pwede subukan nyo yun, baka gumana. You know, so everything was trial and error po. So basically guys, ganito po nangyari yan. The reason bakit namin nakaya ni Mrs. na mag-retire ako at 45 years old is a combination of teamwork, uh, hanging around with the right people, quote-unquote, uh, friends and mentors, and making a couple good, correct decisions financially. Okay? So, let's elaborate on that. <clears throat> so, dun po sa industry ni Mrs., uh, she met a lot of people. And same thing with me sa industry ko po, I met a lot of people. And uh, <clears throat> we try to hang out with people that are like-minded, okay? And uh, marami po nagturo sa amin, you know, how they're able to get ahead in life, okay? So, karamihan po ng mga nakausap namin and people that we hang out with either deal with real estate or the stock market. <laughs> so, nung pong umpisa kami, wala kaming pera. As in, wala. Okay, we just work normal jobs, di ba? But uh, nobody starts big. Everybody starts small and then you build up, right? You build up, you build up, you build up. So, <clears throat> sa stock market po, we got introduced uh, to that concept. We had no clue what it was. Hindi po namin alam kung how that works. But uh, I remember the very first uh, try, the very first attempt that we made was when uh, cannabis was supposed to be uh, a big thing here in Canada before it got legalized. So we got into cannabis stocks before it got legalized, right? Us and everybody else. So at the beginning, we made money. But then, you know, kala namin, 
professional kami pero kung tutuusin po talaga wala kaming alam so all the money that uh, we made to make a long story short we lost and more <laughs> so that was an expensive lesson dahil that was our first time po but then after that you know we learned to be more smart and we learned to actually do research <laughs> okay and uh, we started a couple portfolios right so we've had that for many years now and uh, it's just there okay it's just there as a safety net <clears throat> and uh, dun po sa industry ni Mrs. Ko she works with a lot of partners that specifically deals with portfolios and investments and stuff like that and we were fortunate enough to be friends with them right so they basically showed us a blueprint and uh, we tried it we tried to follow it as best as we can and so far it's worked out okay uh, another uh, component is uh, real estate so sabi po nung lola ko long time ago kahit na anong lupalop ka ng mundo pumunta you're always gonna need shelter okay so put together as much resources as you can to get this accomplished because dahil yung pong bahay sabi ng lola ko <clears throat> tutulungan ka na ngingiti ang ka pa at the end and for the most part po it's very true so <clears throat> yung pong unang bahay namin uh, we made a little bit of money due to some Brantford, right? And uh, we weren't very uh, smart with the proceeds that we got. Okay? Dahil, long story short, we sold our first house due to some Brantford. And nakakuha po kami ng malit na pera. And bata pa kami pareho ni Mrs. We didn't know what we wanted. We didn't know what, uh, what to do with money. So... We did what every couple in their mid to late 20s did. <laughs> I bought a BMW and Samisa's po, she bought a whole bunch of bags, Louis Vuitton, Prada, Gucci, all of that. <laughs> Wasted money. But then just like uh, what happened with uh, our first attempt in the stock market, we learned an expensive lesson. <laughs> okay. Uh, so what happened was uh, we proceeded with uh, our second house. So a lot of people that we are friends with, karamihan po sa kanila, they have uh, income properties, which means they would buy condominiums or uh, cheap houses and then they rent them out. <clears throat> and then they use the profit to either fund their life or uh, reinvest in more uh, income properties. And marami po, na kakilala namin, they basically gave us the blueprint also. And <clears throat> we followed that blueprint, just like how we followed the blueprint with like the stocks and the portfolios and, and such. And it worked. Especially, uh, I think 2017, 18, 2019, <clears throat> yung pong house namin, namin, it more than doubled in value. So, uh, <clears throat> with the advice of uh, my wife's partners and with the advice of the people that I knew that did this, real estate investing, uh, we started to do the same thing. So, we started to buy income properties. But then, problema po nun, COVID hit. So, when COVID hit, Yung pong wife ko naging uh, work from home, 100%. And yung daughter ko, nagsarado yung skwalahan, she became an uh, online school. And yung pong trabaho ko sa casino, nagsarado. So I was on CERB, C-E-R-B. I'm pretty sure uh, all you Canadians, alam nyo, you all know about C-E-R-B. <clears throat> so instead of renting out uh, the condo that we bought, my wife and my daughter ended up living there and working out from there and going to school from there <laughs> and my son and I was left in Brentford so ganun po dynamic namin for about a year and a half so may natutunan din po kami doon uh, going back to uh, the big city our 
our mindset kind of changed. You know, parang uh, bigla pong lumakas yung loob namin. So when the pandemic ended, uh, that's when I decided to quit the casino, handed my resignation, and in return, what happened was uh, they gave me my pension. Yes, they gave me my pension because I worked in the industry for 26 years, right? So they gave me my pension. Nung natapos na yung pandemic, when everybody started to go back to normal, everything started to go back to normal, my wife said, I want to buy my dream home. Let's go buy another house. So we were able to uh, put some funds together doing what we did previously, you know, with the blueprint that was showed to us. <clears throat> and we ended up moving back to Brantford. So when that happened, we ended up basically renting out all of the properties that uh, we acquired. I consider myself very lucky and it didn't happen overnight. Okay, this, this was, this has been ongoing for, man, over two decades. Okay, basta tandaan niyo po, between, uh, between the pension that I received after working 26 years in the casino industry, um, the real estate investments that we've made, and the portfolios that we put together were able to justify me to not work anymore and just focus on the family, my wife, and yeah. Freedom 45. So I consider myself very lucky po because nung nagumpisa kami, di ko naman alam na mangyayari to eh. You know? Yes, it took a lot of hard work. It took a lot of smart work. It took a lot of sacrifice. And madami pong bumps along the way. You know, we had to learn many lessons. We had to learn many expensive lessons. Pero we didn't quit. We just kept on moving forward until we finally hit that point where my wife and I sat down and we spoke on the bed January 1st this year 2023 and she said you know we can do it I want us to do this because you deserve it and I will forever ever be thankful you know to God <laughs> for introducing me <laughs> to my wife because this is the best gift that anybody has ever given me and yeah I'm speechless so guys sana naman without getting all emotional on you you found a little bit of value in this video. And uh, kung di pa pa kayo nakapag-subscribe, subscribe naman kayo kay Puto. Because uh, we'd love to grow this as big as we can. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. This is Puto Mendoza in Canada wishing you good night, good morning, good afternoon. Wherever you are in the world, stay hungry, stay humble. Keep your hustle strong, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Kunta no more sa akin Kung sino ang aking mahal